Hello everybody, good morning. I hope you're having a blessed day. God is so good and faithful and kind and I just am so thankful for the body of Christ. I was able to have some pumpkin chai and fellowship and a little prayer with a girlfriend of mine I haven't seen in a while. And we used to be in Bible study together and it was just so refreshing. And I had a really, really, really rough night yesterday with Isaac. And so I almost canceled. I was gonna tell her, you know, I'm, I'm just not filling up for it and I wasn't. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to this little coffee date because it's already on the calendar and I'll just tell her that I'm not doing good. I mean, that not that the whole point? What we're supposed to do, we're supposed to bear each other's burdens, right? And so I just wanted to share something about fruit. So when I was growing up in uh, West Covina, we had an orange tree and my, my dad, Ruben, loved to water the oranges and the lemon trees. And I have a little lemon tree in the backyard that will not produce lemons, but these lemon tree, the lemon tree and orange tree, they just produced and produced and produced and produced. And so maybe he had a green thumb, maybe they, because they were old growth and they were already there. But I think it was the labor of love of watering because my dad would water them like crazy. I would see him watering them or he would leave the hose there, sometimes forget about it and leave it overnight. Sometimes he would ask us kiddos to water it. And he was just so adamant about watering these orange trees and lemon tree. And I believe that God, he does the same thing with us, you guys. As we are allowing the scriptures to water us and drench our weary souls, there's going to be fruit, but it will take time. Fruit takes time to grow. You know that. I know that. And so we have to be patient, but we also have to put ourselves in a position where we'll let God water us. And so I feel very encouraged and refreshed after having spent some time with this girlfriend. And she shared about her life and I shared about my life and we exchanged prayer requests and I feel watered. You know, I think that's what the body of Christ does when you worship and you sing out to God, when you journal your prayers, when you cry and let it out, and when you let someone else in. You know, it's super, super important that we are sharing our burdens and our um, our pain and, and giving that to others and confessing it to others and saying, hey, I'm hurting right now. I think that's really important and beautiful. And so in the one year Bible, if you're reading along right now is uh, Psalm 119, which is so good. Um, it's all about the word of God and the value of the word of God. And this morning it says, even though it was good for me that I was afflicted because then I learned to obey your statutes. And it also says in Psalm 119 that God's word is better than a thousand pieces of choice silver. And I love that because, you know, what, what do we put our value in, in the stock market, in our bank accounts, in, you know, the public school system, in, um, our health you know, in our brains and our ability to do things, where is our treasure? And I pray that our treasure would be in God, in Jesus Christ, in his blood, in the invigoration of the Holy Spirit. And of course, treasuring his word line upon line every single day, reading it, even when we don't know what we're reading. This morning I was reading in Jeremiah and there's all these people groups and there's all these cities and locations and nations that Jeremiah is speaking woes against. And I didn't bring out a a geography map of the Bible to figure it all out. I didn't really know fully what I was reading, but the Holy Spirit still enlightened my eyes and reminded me that that prophet Jeremiah was speaking about the children of Israel at that specific time in the Middle East and how the people were to um, just surrender and that they, they were supposed to bloom where they were planted and not leave. And, and they disobeyed, you know, I'm probably botching it, but basically um, the scripture is saying, obey God, even when it looks messy and we, we have to. So anyway, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the refreshment of time spent with a friend, whether it's five minutes or whether it's an hour. Thank you, Jesus. I was able to sit with my friend and we got to talk and we both shed a few tears and talking about painful things we've experienced in life and beautiful things. And Lord, um, 
your word says where two or more are gathered you're in our midst and I know that that is so true and I'm so 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 thankful for the truth of who you are I thank you that you are you're near to the brokenhearted the broken and contrite spirit you do not despise thank you for that Lord we continue to pray and wait with anticipation for the healing and the miracles you're going to do in Israel we pray for the peace of Jerusalem we pray that you would save Palestinian souls the evil wicked uh, terrorists that you would disband them that you would disarm them that their bullets would be like rubber Lord that they would not be effective that they would not work Lord God that these wicked acts would be stopped would be thwarted Lord I just think of September 11th as so many people said where was God where was God on September 11th where was God well those planes could have been full to the capacity and they weren't those twin towers could have been filled to capacity and they weren't there were so many lives that were saved it could have been a lot worse and so lord help us to always remember that that there's gonna be evil there's gonna be uh accidents and tragedies and war it's inevitable there's gonna be a war until the prince of peace comes and makes the new heavens and earth there's gonna be war so we just pray for israel we pray your perfect will be done your kingdom come your will be done in israel in america in europe Europe, in Africa, in Asia, in all the uttermost parts of the world, in every area of the world, that your kingdom would come and your will would be done. I want to pause and pray this morning for my friends brother-in-law Moses he's a non-believer he was just released from his job and he's suffering from depression I pray for Moses soul God I pray that he would pick up the Bible and read it I pray that he would stumble upon a YouTube channel about faith about God about Jesus and that he would realize that that longing in his soul that longing in his heart will only be satisfied when he surrenders to you would you do it Lord would you save this young man please God I also want to pray for my brother Anthony as he has these job interviews coming up on Monday and next week week lord may he be successful in these job interviews may you grant him favor i pray that they would say hands down we want you and it would be so obvious to the interview panel that anthony is an amazing man and that you would give him favor but nonetheless he doesn't have one he has multiple job interviews so god show him which one is your will open it up and make it just ever so clear lord sometimes it's hard when we have multiple opportunities to know should i go in the left door should i go in the right door should i stay still should i pull back should i go forward so would you just lead them and guide them lord please and for all of those that need to make big decisions help us that need to make big decisions to trust in you with all our heart to lean not on our own understanding in all of our ways that we would acknowledge you and you will direct our path and father as it says in jeremiah 33 3 call unto me and i will show you great and mighty things which you know is not and for me and raising Isaac, that is the ticket. That is the hard part. I don't know how to raise this child. So please, God, grant Chuck and I wisdom. And for every single person praying with me right now, they lack wisdom in an area, in a relationship, in a work situation, in a family situation, with raising a child that's difficult, with a physical health situation. Help them, give them wisdom, give them discernment, guide their 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 every step lord what doctor should i call what medicine should i take what path should i take that you would make it so clear lord to my brothers and sisters praying with me we we just want to be on your page that's it lord we just want to be on your page and your kingdom agenda that the, it would be revealed to us through the power of the holy spirit and that we would be obedient to walk in it lord i want to pray for every single person right here who's struggling in a relationship i pray you would give them strength and endurance that you would help them i pray for zeke's health lord jesus i pray for calvin's soul for his salvation i pray for all of my loved ones who i know that don't know you jesus maybe they'll pay lift service maybe they'll go to church once in a while or read a scripture once in a while or maybe they'll never do those things but they don't know you lord and they are missing out on the kingdom agape heavenly father love that you have for them i want to see them in the kingdom so please lord i'm thinking of certain people right now friends say their name out loud right now who someone you know who's hurting maybe they're into drugs and alcohol or they're a porn addict or a work addict or whatever maybe they're their work love their family take their kids to their sports events and they pay their taxes and they're a moral person but they don't know jesus christ as lord pray for them right now by name Father, I also want to lift up the prodigals, Lord, for Adil, Adam, Petey, Lord, for all of those that are backslidden or wayward, for Annie, Lord Jesus, for those that don't know you, for the sick, Lord Jesus, for um, Janine Yamamoto and Janine 
and Fernando and Micah and Lance and Christina Wolf and so many others. Father Cancer is such a bully. It, it wreaks such havoc in lives and bodies and it even takes people home like my sweet brother in Christ, Timmy. I pray that you would heal those who are battling cancer, that you would stomp on it. You would not allow it to progress. I thank you that Heather's cancer is uh, uh, stage one. It's not that advanced and it's treatable. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. And I do pray that you would give her courage as she's facing that very real battle and having to have a surgery possibly soon. So go before her, Lord Jesus. We pray for all of our pastors, Lord, that are teaching your word boldly proclaiming your word boldly worshiping you in spirit and in truth not um shunning to give the whole counsel of god to the congregations from genesis to revelation speaking the truth in love lord i pray that you would please please god protect our pastors and teachers and elders and leaders lord protect them from terrorist groups protect them from threats protect them as they have spiritual warfare oh i feel it too lord as i serve you even when i go to courts for, for the court for my clients i can sense that spiritual battle the enemy doesn't like me helping these people helping them um get free from these relationships and these horrific circumstances so lord be with me. May all of us put the full armor of God on, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, gospel shoes, shield of faith, sword of the spirit, every piece. Armor us up, Lord. But yet we can be calm and know that yes, we're soldiers and yes, we have the armor on and yes, those fiery darts get flown and attacks, grenades thrown at us in spiritual warfare, but you are greater, Lord. Satan is a defeated foe and so we stand firm on the truth of who you are and on what you've done at Calvary's cross. Thank you for your blood. Thank you by your stripes we're healed. Thank you that we're born again. Thank you that we get to go to heaven and be with you, Lord, and be reunited with our loved ones who have passed first, God. So we know that revival is, is amongst us. We pray for more people to be saved. We pray you would keep our fire bright, burning bright for you, Lord, that we would not turn to the right or to the left, that we would not mess around. We would not play with sin like like a kid with a, with a firecracker, that we would um, be humbled and just stay close to you every single day, Lord, asking all these things in Jesus Christ's most perfect name. Amen. God bless you guys.